Hello and welcome back to the Book Fox Summaries, where you get spoiler-free insights, hidden themes, all the good stuff in bite-sized pieces. Can't tackle that TBR pile? We've got you covered. So, grab a cuppa, get comfy, and join us on this incredible journey through the world of literature. Today we're about to delve into a profound narrative that has made ripples in the literary world. The book we're exploring today is called Knife, penned by the esteemed author and Booker Prize laureate Salman Rushdie. This isn't just any book, it's a number one national bestseller, a testament to its impact and the compelling story it unfolds. The narrative is deeply personal and powerful, echoing the author's own experiences and offering a glimpse into the resilience of the human spirit. Knife isn't just a book, it's a journey, a testament to courage and a beacon of hope. It's a book that's not just read but felt, resonating with readers across the globe and leaving a lasting impact. Today we're diving into this deeply personal and powerful book. Knife is a searing account of Rushdie's enduring and surviving an attempt on his life. This is no ordinary tale, rather, it's a gripping exploration of a life-altering event that could have ended catastrophically but didn't. On the morning of August 12, 2022, Rushdie was preparing for a lecture, a discourse on the importance of protecting writers from harm. The irony of his chosen topic was not lost on him when a man dressed in black lunged at him with a knife. The event was shocking to say the least and sent ripples of horror through the global literary community. Rushdie's account of this event is not merely a recounting of the incident itself, but a deep dive into the psychological and emotional turmoil that ensued. The attack was a stark reminder of the fatwa that had been issued against him three decades ago, an order that had forced him into hiding for years. In Knife, Rushdie confronts the specter of that past, drawing parallels between the fatwa and the knife attack, and reflecting on the very real dangers that writers face in a world where words can incite violence. He paints a vivid picture of the fear, the trauma, and the near-death experience that marked that fateful day in August. But the book also delves into the aftermath of the attack, the shockwaves it sent through the literary world and beyond. Writers, readers, and critics around the globe expressed their outrage and concern, rallying around Rushdie in a show of solidarity. The incident sparked discussions about the freedom of speech, the safety of authors, and the power of the written word. Despite the gravity of the subject matter, Knife is not a tale of victimhood. Instead, it's a testament to survival, resilience, and the indomitable human spirit. It's about a man who faced death, stared it down, and lived to tell the tale. This horrific act of violence shook the literary world and beyond, but it couldn't shake Salman Rushdie. For the first time and in unforgettable detail, Rushdie relives the traumatic events of that day and its aftermath. This is the reality that Salman Rushdie invites us into, a reality that is both shocking and deeply personal. The journey that unfolds is one of pain, resilience, and ultimately, recovery. The attack left Rushdie physically battered and emotionally scarred, the road to recovery was long and arduous, filled with countless hours of surgery, therapy, and rehabilitation, but throughout this ordeal, Rushdie found strength in the unwavering support of his wife, Eliza. Her love, patience, and dedication were his pillars of strength, providing him with the courage to face each day no matter how grueling the pain or how daunting the hurdles. But Eliza wasn't the only one who stood by Rushdie during his darkest hours, his family rallied around him, offering their love and support in ways that were both tangible and intangible. Their presence was a constant reminder that he was not alone in his struggle, that he had a network of loved ones who were rooting for him, ready to lend a helping hand whenever needed. And then there was his army of doctors and physical therapists. These unsung heroes worked tirelessly day in and day out to help Rushdie regain his strength and mobility. Their expertise coupled with their compassion was instrumental in Rushdie's healing journey. But perhaps the most unexpected source of support came from his community of readers worldwide. Their outpouring of love and concern was overwhelming. They sent letters, messages, and prayers, reminding Rushdie that his words had touched their lives in profound ways. This realization was a powerful motivator for Rushdie, pushing him to heal, not just for himself but for his readers as well. He shares his journey toward physical recovery and the healing that was made possible by the love and support of his wife Eliza, his family, his army of doctors and physical therapists, and his community of readers worldwide. This journey, as detailed in Knife, is a testament to the human spirit's resilience, the power of love, and the strength of community. 
It is a story of survival and triumph, a story that continues to resonate with readers around the globe. Knife showcases Rushdie at the peak of his powers, writing with urgency, gravity, and unflinching honesty. His command over language is evident in every line, with each word carefully chosen to convey the depth of his emotions and the gravity of his experiences. Rushdie's storytelling is nothing short of compelling. He draws you into his world, making you feel as if you are right there with him, experiencing every fear, every pain, every triumph. He has a knack for immersing the reader in his narrative, making it a deeply personal journey for everyone who turns the pages of Knife. The details in his writing are vivid, painting a clear picture in the reader's mind. Whether it's the terrifying attack or the slow road to recovery, every scene is etched in striking detail. And finally, Rushdie's honesty is raw and real. He doesn't shy away from revealing his vulnerabilities, making Knife a deeply moving read. His storytelling is compelling, his details are vivid, and his honesty is raw and real. The book serves as a deeply moving reminder of literature's capacity to make sense of the unthinkable. Knife is not just a piece of writing, it is a journey through the darkest corners of the human experience, a beacon of hope in the face of adversity, and an embodiment of resilience. It's a testament to the enduring spirit of humanity and the power of the written word to heal, to comfort, and to inspire. Rushdie's narrative is a poignant testament to the human spirit's resilience. The trials he faced, the pain he endured, and the strength he displayed are an inspiration to us all. His story is a reminder that even in the face of unimaginable adversity, we can rise, we can heal, and we can hope. The power of words shines through in knife. Words that comfort, words that heal, words that inspire. Words that, when woven together in the hands of a master storyteller like Rushdie, can create a world that gives voice to the voiceless, that shines a light into the darkest corners, and that offers solace in the face of despair. Knife is a book that leaves its mark on you. It's a book that resonates, that stays with you long after you've turned the last page. It's a book that invites reflection, conversation, and a deeper understanding of the human experience. So, if you've read Knife and watch our summary, we'd love to hear your thoughts and comments. Share your insights, your reflections, your favorite passages. Let's continue the conversation that Rushdie has started with this powerful book. And if you haven't read Knife, we hope this summary give you the inside of this gem. Before we go, we ask for your help. Please subscribe to our channel with your subscription. You are helping us to have the power to create more summaries like this. Please hit the like button, share with friends, and turn on notifications to stay in the loop. See you next time.